So when I boot up my Yoga Flame cabinet, I get this selection screen to select between different arcade setups. And I've gotten some questions on how to do this. So here is my tutorial. Um, first, you're gonna need a few things. All right, so here's the item I used. Uh, you can sub out some of these. So I used a Logitech wireless keyboard and touchpad. You can use any mouse and keyboard. I have a USB hub, you can use any kind. And then you need a micro SD card or a USB flash drive. I have both of them shown here. I only use the micro SD card. If your computer doesn't have a micro SD slot or whatever adapter you're gonna be using, you do need a SD, uh, micro SD to SD adapter. And then of course the computer. All right, so the micro SD card slot is right next to the marquee plugin. I have a USB hub right there next to the headphone jack. And I just have a simple four USB hub connected with uh, LED lights and the dongle for the wireless keyboard. Okay, so after you have everything ready, uh, you're gonna connect your keyboard to the back of your arcade cabinet and the USB slot, uh, you're gonna have your SD card or USB drive connected as well. We're gonna go on the keyboard and press the Windows key and N. And it's gonna drop down this Android uh, screen. We're gonna click this bar here and click and drag. And then you're gonna have this gear icon on the bottom right. We're gonna click on that going to take us to the settings uh, menu. Uh, you're going to be mostly using apps and storage. So if this is your first time connecting a drive, it should pop up if you want to format it, if it's never been used. Um, if it has been used, you're going to click on that drive, go to the hamburger menu in the top right, the three dots, storage settings, format, and it's gonna take a little bit to format that. So once that is formatted, you can eject, connect it to your computer, transfer all the APKs you need, any images, anything else you wanna transfer over. Um, but I already have it on this SD card. So I have all my APKs in the download folder. All I did is left click twice uh, to go inside of that. If you are doing it on a Mac, I've noticed that it adds duplicates and it has underscore before the name. These do not work. So you're gonna scroll down and go to the original APKs. If you were using PC, Windows machine, you don't have to worry about that. So here I have App Cloner 2.1.1. That's the version that worked for me on Yoga Flame. Uh, a lot of other users, um, I've used App Cloner TS with success. It did not work for me. Um, here is the big blue APK. Here is the Marvel versus Capcom. Here's X-Men versus Street Fighter. So those are the three that I have installed on this cabinet, plus the default Yoga Flame. I've also installed Nova Launcher. Um, this is the version that was recommended, um, but I was able to install um, I believe this is 7.0.2. I'll have to confirm later. Video live wallpaper, if you want to do a video wallpaper. Uh, file manager plus, um, if you want to be able to wirelessly connect after this process. That way you don't have to disconnect your USB drive or eject the memory card and go back and forth. You can install this and wirelessly connect. So that's pretty much all you're gonna need. This process works on Android Arcade One Up cabinets. So right now that includes Simpsons, uh, the second release of Ninja Turtles. So that is Turtles in Time, I believe. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2, Yoga Flame, which is the one I have, and also Big Blue. Depending on which Android cabinet you have, some have higher specs and can handle more. 
So some of this that I'm doing is gonna be a little bit different from what you have to do and what your machine is capable. So you may not be able to install all the APKs. Uh, I believe Big Blue and Yoga Flame are pretty close. So those can handle the same. Marvel versus Capcom 2 is the latest one, so that can, can handle it the most so far. Now, depending on which APKs you're installing, um, all the Capcom ones that I have install with the same name, so it overwrites the one that's factory installed on this cabinet. So you need App Cloner. So it depends on which cabinet you have and which version you're gonna use. Whichever version you, you're gonna use, you actually want it to make sure that you can clone the different numbers if you're gonna be installing more than one APK. And I'll show you that after this. All right, so to install, you're just gonna double left click on the APK. And I know one of the Turtles ones actually does not install as Arcade 1UP, or actually I think it's just uh, A1UP, let's see. Double click, continue. So this one actually is called 1UP, and that's gonna be the same name, so it's gonna overwrite the other ones. But if you don't have that issue, yeah, so this one actually installs as TMNT. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install. App is installed, so done. You're gonna do that to whichever other uh, APKs you need to install. So after you're done installing your apps, you can back out. Like I said earlier, right click is your back. So we're done right now. I'm gonna select the wallpapers from Nova Launcher. So if I go back again, or you can just go here, see all apps. So as you can see, I renamed my apps to the name that corresponds to them. So Big Blue, Marvel, and X-Men versus Street Fighter. So depending on what your setup is, I would recommend going to Nova Launcher next. So we're gonna go to Nova 7, open. So if this is your first time, you should have a black screen, depending on what version of Nova Launcher, you may have um, some different options to go through. And then you may have an icon on 7. I had a settings icon up here that I removed. Um, to remove an icon, you're just gonna click and hold. You're gonna have edit and remove. And edit will allow you to change the icon picture, uh, the name, any info, any additional stuff. So I'll go ahead and click on that to show you. I actually have all labels hidden, so I don't have to come in here and delete. Depending on which version, you may have to come in here and delete the name. And I have reshape off, so that way it comes up transparent with it on. It comes up as a black icon. And what I'm doing is I am using an image that is a blank PNG. So to change it, I'll go ahead and back out. So I'm just gonna click and hold. Click on edit, click on the picture, go to gallery apps, files, and this last image is just a transparent blank PNG file. We'll go ahead and double click on that. Click done, turn off reshape, and then done. That's how you get your transparent icon. And I position my logos over the areas that I have set up. For this, go back to settings. I am using home screen and dock for my icons and I have four across to have it positioned like this. I have it at 125% icon size with the labels turned off. I turned off match desktop size because whatever size you have for the upper icons would match down here. Right click to go back, padding, I have none um on the sides and then medium on the top and bottom you can actually change that depending on how you have your setup right click to go back so here i adjusted the size and turned off labels 
so you actually have dock and icons depending on where you put in. If you're putting it on the very bottom row, you're going to be using dock. If you're putting it anywhere else, you're going to be using desktop grid and icon layout to address that. Depending on what image you're using and where you want to position, you're going to have to play around with these numbers and that will change your icon positioning and how many you can put. And this allows you to put it in between spots. Oh, I also turned off the search bar. So placement none. I want to say by default, it is on the dock. So I just went to none and turn that off as well. So let's pretend I want it at turtles. So I just click and held again. I drag this little bar here and slide up the menu. Oh, I actually accidentally scrolled down when I opened it. So I need to scroll all the way up, click and drag. We're gonna click on activity, hold it. And then now you can drag and position it where you want. So the docks are down here. Those are the four icons I have down here. If you had it anywhere else, you kind of have to position it in your home screen area. So select it right there. Now it's gonna ask you which activity you wanna do. So we're gonna go down to turtles, click down, and there's that. So it actually positioned it on the second home screen. So I swipe, swiped right click and drag. I'm going to drag it back to the first screen. So now I can position it among my grid. You can kind of see where it highlights, where you can put it. So like I said, if you wanted to change that, we're just going to click and hold on the icon, edit, search for your images and do all that. But I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. So then you have to play around with the layout, match your wallpaper, or use one of the ones that I've set up. And that's it. So then once you have those set up, you can use your joystick to go through them left and right, up and down if you have any going up. So that's how you select. And then once you are there, you're gonna just press A and go into the game. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back and show you how to do the um, app cloner. So since I'm in this screen and I don't have anything set up, I'm gonna do Windows and N. Grab the bar, drag it down, click settings, go to app, see all apps, and go to my app cloner, open. Now this is where I was mentioning earlier where you need to be able to change the different clone ID numbers. Um, since I already have them installed, this is already set up. You may have to go to this folder and open APKs and so for this to show up. If I click on clone, it'll show I have Marvel labeled as four, X-Men versus Street Fighter as three, Big Blue as two. I went ahead and skipped one just in case. So I'm gonna go back and clicked on the folder, APKs, click down here in the plus, and do from file, click on the top right since I have it on a different device, not the internal memory storage. So you sh whatever recent files you have, you're gonna see them here. I'm gonna click on the hamburger menu, click on the SD card, navigate to my downloads and I wanna say this turtles was actually gonna install as one up. So it's gonna process, it's gonna take, take some time. And it's gonna have this, yours should be um, one up right here and then whatever, it should be one. So we're gonna click on the number and change that. And we're gonna change this name to turtle. Click OK. 
Then you're going to click on clone the APK. And click on OK. Sorry, my cat is messing with the light stand that's holding my phone. All right, and then after that, you do install app and it will show up on your clone apps menu. I'm not sure if this works. I'm not going to even install it because I actually have the Simpsons four player arcade and I have turtles installed in there. So I'm just going to cancel here and I just wanted to do this process to show you. Um, if I go to clone apps, actually cloned ABK because it's not installed yet. Go ahead and delete it. All right, so I'm gonna right click on my touchpad keyboard to go back. You actually have to do it twice 